the disease that uh, Christopher has, there is no cure. The cure is a transplant. Uh, and he's, where's that? Where's the beaker? I'm going to show you a beaker that he's been carrying with him for the last 13 years. Uh, there's been times that he was on, at the top of the waiting list. Uh, and this is a beaker. And uh, he, he's been carrying it. He's been carrying this paper for over 13 years, and uh, we're praying one day that it goes off so we can fly him to London and he can get as much awaited uh, transplant. Um, the other thing I wanted to say is, is Christopher, the reason most people do not survive this long on the waiting list, uh, they don't survive more than two, three years. And the, the reason why he hasn't probably gotten his transplant is not only because there's a shortage, but every time he gets at the top of the waiting list, he shows incredible signs of being normal, and then the more sicker people go to the top of the list and only have like days left to live, and then he gets bumped back into the middle of the list. And that's been happening throughout the last 13 years, so he's kind of in a catch-22 situation where you know, because of his spirit, he wants to keep active, keep healthy, but that's preventing him from probably receiving the liver at the same time. So it's, and it's because we have a shortage. If, if we address this issue properly, not only Christopher would be receiving his uh, liver, but all the kids and all the people that are on the waiting list, and there's close to 4,000 Canadians right now. So. Bands mostly. Well, why don't, why don't you show me? Yeah, show me. Uh, show me your belly. I'm just going to show you Chris. his scars. Show me. <laughs> That's the best way. And uh, like I said, when you look at Christopher, he, he doesn't seem like he's gone through all this. You know, That's the only way sometimes he can really prove it that uh, he's gone through what he's gone through. real treatment or cure. There's no cure for it. Uh, and he's had to go through like 20 operations just to prevent him from dying. You know, that's, that's how gloomy it is. It was every three weeks. Was every three weeks. Uh, once every three weeks. Can you repeat the question, please? We can't hear what you You had to have surgery once every three weeks. The question was uh, how often does Christopher have to go for surgery? Uh, up until he came on the walk, I think it was a couple of months just before he started the walk that we went to the hospital. Uh, about a week before. And it was periodically, almost every three weeks or every couple of months. 